He added. Prepared as arrow. Thanks. It's uh, Darrow, actually. So, what can I do you for? He asked, gesturing towards the chair. I sat down, then lifted myself slightly off the seat to maintain eye contact. Uh, horror porn mentioned that there might be some job openings here at the school and told me to stop by this morning for an interview. My horror porn said that? Yeah. Sam leaned back and studied me for a moment. You done much teaching back home? You got your certificate? I don't have a teaching certificate, but I did some tutoring in college. You studied English? I was an art history major, but... On historian de art. Sam smiled indulgently. Is it fair to say now that you're an artiste? <laughs> I shrugged. I took some art classes. Ever draw from the new woman? <laughs> <laughs> what not? <laughs> uh, the emphasis was more on a conceptual approach rather than a... You claim to be an artist, he said, leaning forward. <laughs> and yet, you've never drawn from the new one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I sat up a little straighter. I've taken life drawing classes, sure. You could sure. theoretically sit here and draw a lifelike picture of me. <laughs> I guess... Uh, theoretically, why don't, although, you, why don't you give it a shot? I looked around the room. Right now? He chuckled. Don't worry. I'm not going to be doffing my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just interested in a simple facial portrait. <laughs> I opened my notebook and took out a pen. I haven't really done this for a while. Oh, bro, name old. <laughs> Sam patted his hair with both hands and lifted his chin up, assuming a wistful expression. Just try to capture my essence. <laughs> I stared at him for a long moment, then began to draw. After about 20 seconds, I said, Do you mind if I start over? Still holding his pose, Sam muttered. Finish it up, Aaron. It's just an exercise. I filled in the rest of his mustache and handed him the sketch. He peered at it intently, pressing his lips together, then passed it back to me and said, That's all right. Mark Snix, you aren't here to teach these people how to draw pictures. He clapped his hands. How about you provide me with an example of your English? <laughs> sure, I said. How do you mean exactly? Did you been in my office, Arrow? You hardly said hi, shit, or boom. I want to hear a spiel that will display your powerful grasp upon the English language. <laughs> he raised his arm in the air as he said this, his fist trembling as though clutching an invisible kite. Pretend like it's the first day of school and you're talking to your pupils. Try to use a noun, a verb. <laughs> An adjective, <laughs> a preposition, maybe a German. Ding a ling a ling! He jerked his chin at me. He may stand. I got stiffly to my feet and clasped my hands to behind my back, then shoved them into my pockets, then took them out again and let them dangle at my sides like a gunfighter. Hello, everybody. I said, addressing my imaginary students. Let me welcome you all to my excellent class. I have come to you today, happily, in order to... I paused. To ameliorate your understanding of the English language. This... Well, Whoa, nearly Bill. <laughs> Amelia, what? <laughs> um, ameliorate. It means, as I tried to remember what the word meant, <laughs> I felt my eyelids becoming heavy again. 
and resisted the urge to close them and go to sleep where I stood, horse-like. You don't need to define it for me, Arrow. I was responding to you like I'm one of your students. Huh? Amir, you witch? <laughs> Why do you students aren't here to study for the PSATs? They want to be able to read the cartoons on the back of a soda pop can. Maybe get a good job. Help people to fix their toasters over the telephone. They don't need your two dollar vocab words to do that. Sam tilted back in his chair. Continue. Okay. I squared my shoulders and said, I am your new teacher. My name is Boyd. I will be teaching you how to read and write the English language. Sam nodded, and I continued. I am very happy to be with you today. I have just recently moved here to your beautiful country. My own country is very different from yours. Where I come from, we... Okay, Arrow. You don't know where you come from. <laughs> you need to give us a show and tell about the motherland. <laughs> Sam's face looked tense. You dare see. <coughs> Was that all right? You are relatively eloquent. <laughs> he pronounced the phrase as if it were a foreign expression. I get it. You can speak English. He put his hands flat on the desk and glowered at them. He remained like this for almost a minute, and I began to wonder if the interview might be over. Then he nodded to himself, coming to some kind, kind of decision, and looked up at me. Before our business relationship proceeds any further down the primrose path, I'd like to ask you another question that occurred to me during your little speech. Just clear the air. He tapped the side of his nose with his finger. Do you love your country? The land where you and I both born. Um, sure. I'm very fond of it. Do you love it? <laughs> I nodded greatly. Yes. Was that? Yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, Arrow, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I I guess it does have its pluses and minuses. You used to love it. <laughs> yes, sir. You used to love it the best. But now I don't even like your country. <laughs> I hate to use the hate word. <laughs> I hate your country. I hate your country because it drafted me. And plug me down in the middle of a hellish, you are my French here, clusterfuck. <laughs> I hate your country because those peasants in your government wouldn't even let us win that war. And then I get back home to your country. And I'm hollered at by kids like you. Kids who smell like linseed oil, with greasy hair hanging down to their butts. I reached up, uh, running my fingers through my close cropped hair, and opened my mouth to protest. Sam jutted his chin out at me and continued, Not that I didn't have long, greasy hair myself back then. We all did. It was the style. That's not my point. I understand how you would feel that... Let me ask you this. Do you plan on returning to your country? Mm, yes. Eventually. Will you do me a favor? Can I give you something? To take back from you? Uh, sure. I pictured myself knocking on his mother's door and handing her a basket of pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> then I pictured myself in an airport bathroom, swallowing a condom full of diesel <laughs> dust. <laughs> uh, what exactly did you have in mind? A little something. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
He held his fingers a few inches apart. Turn the little bottle. Okay. Tell you what, Sam said. I'm gonna take a piss in that bottle. <laughs> I even need a bunch of asparagus. <laughs> Beforehand, some of piss is nice and fragrant. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll screw the cap on real tight. You can put it in the pocket of your blue jeans. Then, once you land on Fermentera, and you disembark from the airplane, take that bottle out of your pocket. Unscrew the cap. He paused. And then, just pour that piss onto the ground. <laughs> I bobbed my head, straining to read his eyes through his sunglasses. Okay. Because that's what I think of your country. Not my country. This is my country now. He pointed at the floor. If I could, I'd piss on the ground in person. But I don't have plans to visit there anytime soon. Unfortunately, my Jimmy Jones isn't long enough to reach from here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> now go ahead. Then he parted his lips, revealing a set of square, white teeth. I'm reasonably sure that he was smiling. When I didn't respond, he stood up and said, So, you can do this for me? I shook my head slowly, getting to my feet. Sure. Okie doke. He held out a hand. You got the job. That's great. We shook on it. And then I added, the teaching job, you mean. <laughs> Sam shrugged. You can have that job too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.